Paul McElligott writes, Hey guys, you were wondering why Disney gave up Ghost in the Shell to Paramount and whether or not it was a trade of some kind. That reminded me that Paramount and Lucasfilm share the Indiana Jones series and they are discussing doing another movie in that franchise. I think Ghost in the Shell isn't a big enough, big enough property to trade for Indiana Jones, but maybe we should be on the lookout for Disney and Paramount deals. What do you say? Yeah, we brought up this the other day. What is your referencing is that, you know, Ghost in the Shell, which was going to be a Disney film, uh, has got uh, a Scarlet Witch attached. Scarlet uh, Johansson. Uh, Scarlet Johansson. Scarlet Witch? Yeah. Black <laughs> one. <laughs> She's Black Widow. I, I kind of crossed She's the wires there a little bit. Uh, you got Scarlet Johansson attached. You got your director attached. Got the, but And so Disney's dropped it. Paramount immediately picked it up. And we speculated, because there was no official word on this, did Disney just drop it? Or did they? was there actually a behind-the-scenes deal where they gave it to Paramount? We might see something going back in return. Indiana Jones is a very, very interesting thing because while a Ghost in the Shell movie is not worth what an Indiana Jones movie is, remember this, Paramount can't make Indiana Jones movies. There's a weird rights thing tie-up right now between Disney and Paramount, but Paramount cannot just go ahead and make an Indiana Jones film. So that's just kind of sitting on their shelf. Ghost in the Shell could be a big hit. Not only could it be a hit, it's only it's within the realm of possibility, there's a reality here in which it could also spawn off a franchise. You could make a franchise of films out of that. So it could be very valuable. Whereas the Indiana Jones stuff has no value to Paramount right now. So while Indiana Jones as a title has more value than Ghost in the Shell, what's it worth to Paramount? So that could theoretically, remember we're all talking in hypotheticals here, okay? But if we're gonna play that game, theoretically, Paramount's saying to Disney, look, we can't make these movies without you anyway. So how about we give you the full rights to Indiana Jones? You got it all lock, stock, and barrel back. You give us a nice property that has some franchise potential like a Ghost in the Shell, maybe something else, maybe a ball boy, maybe a little front-end cash too, whatever. <laughs> Throw that in to sweeten the deal. That is absolutely a deal I could see happening and making sense. Whether that's the reality, who knows. But speculation-wise... Seems to make sense to me. What do you think? We'll try to remember the name Paul McElligot because it sounds very plausible to me. I just have a hard time believing that Disney would give up something like Ghost in the Shell, even if they had a packed schedule in 2017 already, then they would have just postponed it. Like they, There had to have been something else involved in that, whether it's simply a matter of, hey, here's this property you can have, but we get some points on the back end when it does well. Like Maybe even something as, as simple as we get money if this thing does well. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure that it might not be Indiana Jones, but it might be some kind of trade up like that. It makes sense. I don't think they would just give it up. It makes sense to it was some kind of a deal where they're like, look, you can have you can have Ghost in the Shell. Give us this and this because, you know, they've gone in a lot of those kind of like you're distributing we're we're producing, you know, or you're producing, we're distributing. And I think Disney now just wants it really clean. Look, it's Disney. We don't want all these extra people hanging out. So that makes sense. I, I, I was uh, actually just this morning watching some old Indiana Jones. You guys remember that? Yeah. Yes. It was like the young <clears throat> Indiana Jones Chronicles, Chronicles but yeah, it had yeah. the older Indiana Jones. They cut him out of all the DVD and Blu-rays. Wow. Yeah. Every episode kicked <clears throat> off with like a 90-year-old eye-patched right? yeah. Indiana Jones, Those and he'd like the... always be bothering some random yep. kid at Walmart. Like, hey, did I ever tell you about the time I found the magical belt of Miss <laughs> yep. Sisopheles? And the kid's like, no, but I guess I guess they, have to listen to they it. They cut all of those se segments out of the young Why? I know. I don't know. Is it because now Harrison Ford is approaching the age? I have that no the idea. Anyone who knows Indiana that answer, Jones. please write in and tell us, because that was really freaking me out this morning. I was like, wow, there's a lot of episodes of this guy with the eye patch. Like, hey, wait, 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 I'm not done. This one time, I was hanging out with where are you going? The kids are always like, leave me alone, old man. And then by the end of it, they're all in trance. Tell me more. Yeah. You know? Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.